let's solve the following question. If f is continuous, then the integral between a and b of x f of x dx is equal to x times the integral between a and b of f of x dx. We want to prove or disprove this statement. Okay, here we need to notice a few things before solving the problem. Okay, here we see this one here. It's just a number. And this one on the left is a number. And therefore we have a number times a variable times a number. Can that happen? Okay, and this is the first thing that you need to notice. Remember that the integral of f of x dx between a and b is just a number in R. Okay, so this is a number times x is equal to some number. Is this one true all the time? No, of course. Okay, so when we have something like this, we can, uh, to prove that it's wrong, we need to find only one simple function that would violate this inequality. And therefore, we can deduce that it's not true for all functions. And the easiest one that we can choose is, let, let, uh, let f of x be 1. The function that gives 1 to each element. Okay, and let's see, let's plug it here. On the left side, we have then, when we plug f of x is 1, we have x dx. And we know that this is x squared over 2 between a and b. And this is b squared minus a squared over 2. Okay? On the, and notice here that this is just a number. And on the right side, we have x times the integral of f of x dx, which is equal to x, the integral of 1 dx between a and b. And this gives us x, b minus a. Okay? And note here that we have b squared minus a squared over 2 is equal to x, b minus a. So this is a number is equal to some polynomial at least if we can call x a polynomial of degree one okay is that true for all axes no okay so this is false all the time because we can solve here we can we, we can assume that b minus a is different from zero and we can say we can solve here and we can say that x is b plus a over two Okay, but can we say that any number, any number in R is B plus A over 2? It's wrong. Okay? The only case when this statement is true is for one case only, which is when F is 0. Okay? And since we want to prove this one in general, so it's false in general. True for one case, when F is exactly identically the, uh, the the zero function okay this is how we prove or disprove these statements okay so this is false for all functions in r in the set of functions in fact okay so that's how we do this this case how we prove these statements so it's not true for one function and false for the other, or sometimes it's false, sometimes it's zero. No, it's false all the time for any function except when f is zero. Okay, so therefore, to make this one clearly true, we say that for all f different from the zero function, this one is always false. We can never have this. Okay, and that's how we prove uh, statements like this. We either prove it in general 
or find a counter example that will make this one false okay thank you very much if you see any errors or mistakes please signal them please like share and subscribe thank you again